So a few months ago, I made a video, how to glow up in 30 days from a male model. And you guys seem to really like that video. So I said, hey, why not a week, seven days? Some of you don't have a full 30 days. You got a photo shoot, you got prom or whatever. So I thought, let's do it, baby. Now, why should you listen to me? Well, I was a male model for several years. And when you're a male model, you are literally getting paid to make products and stuff look good. Cause the better the stuff looks, the more the company sells. So it's in your interest to look as good as possible. So I got all this advice from different photographers, models, casting directors on how to max out my looks. And now I'm in a position where I can share that all with you so i hope you guys are ready let's get right into it this is your full seven day guide to glowing up so let's get right into day one all right so obviously you're not going to get as drastic of a change as you would with 30 days because it's only a quarter of that right it's seven days so we're going to start with the stuff that has an immediate impact on your look and then kind of taper into the things that are more of an investment that are going to take a longer time to pay off but when they do pay off oh baby it pays off so one thing that can make a huge difference is of course your style right so here's what i want you to do go to your closet grab all of your clothes and throw it in the dumpster. Kidding, don't do that. But there's no doubt in my mind that you could definitely improve your style. You maybe even need a new whole style altogether. So how you're gonna find your style is what I call the Pinterest trick. Go onto Pinterest and type in a few different phrases such as men's style 2023 and you'll see a bunch of images pop up. You just kind of browse through it, pick a few that you like how the style looks and then hit the red pin button and that will save that image and similar images to what's called your pin board so basically it enters you into the algorithm so the more stuff that you like the more you're telling pinterest what you want to see more of so for me i kind of like this like old money style so if you're into old money style like this then type that in and then like some of those pictures some people are into more skater style uh you know guys like vinnie hacker that guy Caden Hammond um, and others, I guess. And, or maybe you're into more classic style, you know, suits, tailored clothing and stuff like that. You could type that in. And the important thing is to scroll through Pinterest for 30 minutes to an hour and pinning a bunch of pictures of clothing that you think would look good on you. And that's gonna kind of like teach the algorithm what to show you more of. And on a side note, shout out to Koofanny for sponsoring today's video. Great clothing, next. Now we talk about this all the time. What's the biggest thing that makes a difference to how you look obviously it's your body you know your physique if you got a nice frame you got some muscle popping out clothes look better on it you look like a more presentable respectable person if even if you see somebody walking around and they have you know a little bit bigger than average arm maybe they got a vein popping out you kind of like see them as harder working and better work ethic they go in there and you can only get a bulging bicep from working hard right so automatically you make that assumption that they're a hard working better person so day one you're gonna workout. I don't know if you have a gym membership. I don't know if you're already on a fitness program, but if you're not, then here's what I want you to do. I want you to do a half Murph. Murph is this CrossFit workout. I know, I know. Don't click away at CrossFit. Ooh, gay, right? No, CrossFit is actually an incredible workout and especially this workout called Murph. And what it consists of is one mile run followed by a hundred pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats and then run one more mile. No, it's really difficult. Most people aren't gonna be able to do a Murph in completion, their very first try. So if you're new to this, just do a half Murph. So half a mile, 50 pull-ups, 100 push-ups, 150 air squats, one more half mile. This is a great workout if you're new to the workout game. Do that. Also on day one, you're gonna be cutting out sugar and salt as much as you can. Obviously, the food you eat on a daily basis has a little bit of this, but if let's say if you normally drink a soda with your dinner, instead of having a Coca-Cola, have a Diet Coke or just have water or you know have like a flavored water, like a ice or something. Also, if you normally add salt to your food or if you eat salty fries, just try to skip that stuff. What this is gonna do is it's gonna reduce inflammation 
tension and bloating within the body. So it may not seem like it's doing much at first, but if you do this every day for a full week, you'll start to look a little bit slimmer. Your skin will be a little bit clear, a little bit dewier. You'll get that glass look to your skin and it's gonna be a good thing and a great habit in the long run. So try to cut out sugar and salt as much as you can. So that's all I want you to focus on day one. That's a lot of stuff, right? We don't wanna to go too hard and you know, burn out ourselves. So that's enough for day one. Now let's see what we got going on day two. Day two, we are going to focus on your posture, baby. This can make a world of difference. You could be the most average looking dude. You could be 5'5", five, five, you know, an unspectacular physique, but if you have tight, upright posture with a commanding presence, you're not afraid to take up space. You have nice, relaxed facial posture as well. What that means is, you know, you relax your eyebrows a bit, it gives you these kind of hunter eyes, this kind of fierce, mysterious look. You don't look like you're walking around like Steve Buscemi. No, you got kind of that like fierce, mysterious look going on. That comes from relaxing your eyebrows a bit. Also pressing your tongue up against the roof of your mouth. This is called mewing. It gives you an immediate improvement in your side profile. See, watch. Normally, maybe you look like this. Raise your tongue up. Immediately, it's more of a tight right angle and that's attractive. So start practicing this every single day. I like to combine mental and physical tricks to obtain nice posture. So one thing I do is I'll either put a piece of tape on the back of my neck so that if I feel it crinkling, that's a reminder to kind of like cinch up my posture or you could just put a rubber band on your wrist. So every time you look at it, it kind of reminds you. And if you notice yourself with bad posture, you could even snap it and kind of like remind yourself with a little like negative reinforcement or there's this thing called the string theory. This is where, I think I made this up. I at least made the name up, I'm pretty sure. But this is where you imagine that there is a string tied from the back of your skull. The other end is attached to your tailbone. And just imagine someone is pulling that string tight and it should kind of condition you to cinch up your posture so you have nice, straight, upright posture head up, chest out, head resting on top of your shoulders, not having this nerd neck going on. This is gonna be such an improvement just with that little change. So make it a daily, every single 24 seven, every 365 habit. Next thing on the agenda for day two, gym membership, baby. Maybe you're in school, maybe you are in university and there's a university gym that you can go to, that's great. But if not, there's other cheap gyms in most areas. I know 24 hour fitness, if you're a student, is like $10 a month. At the most, it'll be an investment of 25, 30 bucks a month, which everybody can scrape that together. You need access to a gym if you want to make actual substantial gains, baby. I mean, you can do the calisthenics shit a little bit, but most people, they just don't have the genetics to achieve an amazing physique just with body weights. So you need a gym membership. And then you wanna get into an actual fitness program. If you have no idea where to start, I made a very detailed video on that. It's called the best workout routine for teens. Go check that out after you watch this video. Do not click away from this video. You wanna stay till the end. Next thing is you want to revisit Pinterest because now we're gonna pick some clothes, baby. The reason we waited a day is so that we could kind of digest it, think about it a little bit, and not impulsively buy a bunch of clothes just because it looked cool in this moment we were looking at it. So you're gonna go back to Pinterest, look a little bit more, decide on a style, and then you're gonna click the link that is on the Pinterest picture, and you can usually find that exact clothing or similar products and go ahead and buy it. So I can't tell you what your style is gonna be, what's gonna look best on you. That's for you to decide. Everybody has, you know, different ways of representing themselves. Me, I kind of like this old money, this kind of like summery, casual style right now. It's very loose and like comfy. Now, I have to shout out the sponsor of today's video over at Koo Fandy. They actually supplied me with 
this shirt and these linen pants, which I love. Kufani, great company, very, very affordable. So I love sharing with you guys affordable products that I actually liked and enjoy and wear often. I actually was just wearing this at the pool the other day and I look fucking sweet, bro. I also like this blue button down they supplied me with and it's super uh, great summer vibes. It looks good. And here's just a few other clothes that I've gotten from Kufandi over the past year or so. And I got a deal, so you know what that means. You guys get a deal too. You can use my code BRETTMVRK30 for 30% off on their website. I'll put the link down below. I can't recommend this brand enough. Super fast shipping and good products. I like it and definitely expensive, which I know is what you guys want. So basically my point is you're gonna start making some purchases. We gotta start building that wardrobe. I know it's gonna take some time. You're not gonna get your full wardrobe in one afternoon of buying some products, but get started, maybe buy two outfits or so. Day number three, haircut time. Everybody looks better with a fresh cut baby and now you will too if you're not happy with your hairstyle it's time to try something new man and i recommend using the power of ai to see how it's going to look before you actually get it so there's this app called face app that you can download and you can actually project different hairstyles onto your face and it's kind of limited right now i wish there was like a better app with like more choices and stuff maybe it exists if it does one of you guys let me know and i'll go check that out that'd be great but it's good to get a general idea of what kind of hairstyle is going to look good on your face long hair medium hair short hair you name it but if you try this out and you're still not convinced you should check out this video that i made how to pick a hairstyle for your face shape don't do it right now do it after this video actually do it on day three when it's actually time so it's time to grab your balls and try out the hairstyle make the appointment go get your haircut done and see how it looks that's what life's all about man you'll never know if you don't try if there's ever been a hairstyle you wanted to try and you're just too scared to do it now is the time you have my permission and my support to go try it out. A new cut can make a world of difference. It could be the difference between this and this. So go try it out. Next thing, we got one more thing to do on day three and that's grocery shopping. All this working out, all this resistance training is worthless, it's pointless if you're not feeding it with the right nutrients. So we're gonna go to the grocery store, get some high protein foods. I'm talking eggs, chicken, ground beef, ground turkey, protein powder for right after the gym, bang. I also get like 10 of these little frozen meals that have 33 grams of protein per servings and just chuck it in the microwave for five minutes and then eat it so I don't gotta do all this meal prep. So if you have these in your store, definitely bulk up on these. So I can't give you a full meal plan right now, but check out this video later when you have time. This is a great meal plan and uh, yeah, we'll help you quite a bit. That's day three, we're doing great. Just a few more days. Let's see what's up, day four. So you got a fresh new cut, you're hitting the gym, you're getting the blood flowing, you got your posture right. Now it's all about the face, baby. Looks maxing our face can make a huge difference. So one of the biggest deciders of an attractive face is your eyebrows. It frames the face, it kind of adds structure and contours it a little bit. You notice guys with thicker, darker eyebrows usually are a little bit more attractive. So if you have some light or thin eyebrows, consider dyeing your eyebrows. And that can help you go from looking like this to this. This is my buddy Arendt and he is another master at looks maxing. So a brand that I recommend is get the dark brown eyebrow dye by the brand Sayas. I, I think I'm saying that right, S-Y-O-S. Next up, some people simply look better with glasses. Here's some examples. Bang, bang, bang. You might be one of those people and you don't even need to have prescription glasses. There's nothing wrong with rocking some fake glasses. Like why the hell not? We wear hats even though, you know, we're not always out in the sun, right? So what difference does it make? This is my other buddy, Kei Shiemi, who looks really good with his glasses. And I think I found those same glasses, but in the fake version, here on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So look around a little bit, maybe it's for you. Maybe it'll make help you look a little better. I don't know. One more thing we're gonna start doing immediately is teeth whitening strips. The difference between, you know, dirty yellow teeth and nice sparkling white teeth 
It's crazy. It's the difference between looking healthy and looking ill. So go to the store, pick up some Crest whitening strips or just the knockoff brand. It's probably a little cheaper. And I think you can do like one a day for 10 days or something. I recommend taking a day or two off in between just to kind of like let your enamel and your gums rest a little bit. But yeah, start doing the whitening strips. You just put it on for like 15 minutes at a time, take it out and yeah, let it do its thing. Just these three things are gonna make a huge difference in your facial appearance. Now, let's see what we got going on day five. All right, day five. Day five is in the details, baby. So day five, you're doing full body manscaping. Now I'm not gonna go through that whole thing in this video, cause this is already a long video. So I have a full other video on that. I'll also put that link in the description. Go check it out, save it, but don't click it and go watch it right now because we're not done yet. This is more important. And then of course, at the same time, you're working out, you're practicing correct posture, and you're eating the meals that you got at the store, so you're in good shape. Day six, I would recommend start getting down some sort of skincare routine. Now, this is something that usually takes time. You gotta kind of learn your uh, skin type. Is it oily? Is it dry? Is it darker, lighter complexion? What products are gonna work best with it? But if you have no idea where to start, I recommend just something basic like Teach Hanley's Level 1, which has a few different products, but the main thing you need is a daily moisturizer that has sunblock in it because the sun does crazy damage to your skin. You wanna start getting ahead of that. So yeah. Teach Hanley level one or a little bit more leveled up skincare product is La Roche Posse. I think I said that right. Their moisturizer and sunblock and just products in general are really good. So yeah, go check that out. Just start playing around. It's gonna take some time, but you gotta start somewhere. I also recommend exfoliating your lips. How I recommend doing it is before you get in the shower at night, put some Vaseline on your lips first and then just brush your lips a little bit with your toothbrush. This will help your lips lips get looking right, get all that dead skin and junk off your lips and kind of make them plump and pop a little bit. And this usually lasts a couple days or so. And then of course you're repeating the same things we've been doing the past five days, working out, eating well, correct posture, and uh, yeah, the other stuff. Now, just one day left, we're almost there. Day seven. Basically, this is the day that your clothes should probably arrive, the clothes that you ordered about five days ago. So you should have a couple brand new outfits. You put that together with everything else you've been doing. I would get some jewelry to add to the outfits. This just kind of like makes your outfits pop a little bit. It's kind of like uh, tricking people into thinking you know what you're doing when it comes to style. Uh, I got this little feather ring, black onyx ring, and you know, little bracelets necklace, it makes a big difference. And there's actually a TikTok filter that will tell you what tones of jewelry, uh, either gold or silver will look best on you. So you could try that out, but I think silver looks good on most people. You can get some cheap jewelry on Amazon, Sheen, and places like this. So that's pretty much it. Put everything together, stick to your workouts, that's gonna pay off a lot in the long run. Keep trying different hairstyles if one doesn't look good for you. And basically, rinse and repeat and never stop looking for ways to improve, whether it's physically, mentally, spiritually, there's so much more than just how you look on the outside. So never stop learning. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe and until next time, peace.